Hi, this is your host Sapna Bharti and today we have with us Lisa Telefari, Head of Developer Education at Chenkar. Lisa, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, thanks so much for having me today. And today we are going to talk about this free course from Linux Foundation, OpenSSF and Chenkar, securing your software supply chain with Sixtore. Uh, before we talk about this uh, course specifically, I would love to learn a bit about your own background. So just talk about yours quickly. Sure. Uh, yeah, so I, I am at, I'm at ChainGuard, which is a pretty early startup. Uh, I joined a few months ago and I'm leading developer education. Uh, my background is in tech startups and also a uh, higher education. So I have a lot of experience in research and teaching as well. Uh, so I'm very, I, I'm very happy in this space where I could work with the developer community and help to drive adoption of open source tools. Yeah, thanks. Uh, now, tell us, you know, how are you involved with this course? What is your personal participation? Sure, so uh, I'm one of the co-leads of the course. I worked on it with one of my colleagues, John Speed Mayer, and we developed the course with support from our colleagues in the Sixer community. Uh, we were very thankful for a lot of great reviewers in the community and also with the Linux Foundation with a lot of help from their instructional designers. Uh, so we're, yeah, we're very excited to see it in the world. And our hope is that it will help to make the software supply chain more secure for open source. Right. Now let's talk about this course itself. Um, you touched upon it, you know, briefly. Uh, tell us a bit about, you know, what is this course about? And of course, you know, what is the goal behind this course? Sure. The, so Sigstore is a, essentially a toolkit that enables developers to work to make their software more secure. Our hope is that Sixer could be part of the invisible infrastructure that's made as part of software development so that the easy way to build is the actual secure way to build. And uh, Sixer is comprised of a number of different projects under the bigger umbrella. So there's CoSign, which enables you to sign software artifacts. So think about containers, but it could also be um, blobs, um, basically anything you could upload into a container registry. Uh, there's also Fulcio, which is the certificate authority. And there's ReCore, which is the transparency log, where you could both store your metadata for software artifacts, and you could also verify the provenance of software artifacts that you might leverage. And we're really excited about a new project that's GitSign, which allows you to sign your Git commits. Excellent. Uh, can you talk about what is the scope of this course? You talked about some of the projects, but I uh, basically what I want to understand is that um, what is this course actually about? Yeah, so the course is about thinking about software security in a holistic way and then driving into the tools at, that are part of Sigstore that you could use to actually implement some of the security uh, recommendations that are being put out by different frameworks, such as uh, NIS SSDF or Salsa. Excellent. I don't want to go too much detail into the, the whole uh, content of the course, but if you can also talk about, you know, what is in there as well. Sure. So somebody who is taking the course, I think, uh, would expect to get a broad understanding of what's at stake with software supply chain security. And then they will be able to step through these hands-on labs to start to use the tooling and understand how they might be able to implement them as part of their software development practice. Uh, so we step through each of the tools that are part of Sigstore and also uh, share how people may be able to get involved in the Sigstore community if they're interested in that as well. Can you talk about the format of the course? Is it like uh, just text they read? Is it interactive? There will be like some <laughs> uh, mentors there who will sit. And also once they've taken the, the you know course, uh, how would they know that, hey, you know what? Yes, I have taken the course, I've passed it, so I have kind of qualified in one way or the other uh, to have some experience with, with these you know, technologies. Yeah, so the Linux Foundation offers a certificate. So if people would like to take the course, they can uh, do the certificate pathway. Uh, otherwise, they could take the course totally for free on edX, which is an online uh, learning platform. Uh, the course is text-based and self-directed, uh, but there, the labs are very interactive and will step you through all of the commands that you need to get up and running with the tools. Uh, there's also assessments at the end of each chapter so that you could verify that you've learned what uh, what our learning goals were at the beginning of each chapter. Who's the kind of target audience for this course? Sure, I think that 
Ideally, I think any individual developer who's interested in security uh, is a great audience for this course. Uh, I really think about the open source developer in particular and how they might be able to think about the work that they're doing as part of the bigger open source ecosystem and how this, their security practices can influence uh, those around them. Uh, I think that also uh, engineering managers like teams of developers may think about what they might be able to implement as part of their, their team-based workflows. Uh, I think that security is something that could be really intimidating, but I hope that this course helps people to understand that there are little things that you could do incrementally to start to make your security practice uh, more holistic over time. You said, you know, that any developer who is interested in security, uh, you are from ChainGuard, uh, we are seeing a shift left movement. A lot of things are moving in developers' pipeline. Security is no longer kind of considered as someone else's problem, right? It is kind of becoming a developer's problem. So can you also talk about, you know, uh, why developers should look at security also when they're writing their applications so they have a holistic approach so that it's not like the developers who are interested, interested in security, developers should be interested in security? Yeah, that's a great question. I think. I think trying to think about how you could bring security into your development practice from the very beginning would be the ideal way to go, as, as you mentioned. Uh, thinking about what are the little things that you could do to start to make your software more robust and more secure. Think about signing your releases. Think about including an SBOM software bill of materials as part of your releases. Uh, think about making it more obvious how people could see the provenance of, of your software if they're using it as dependencies as part of their supply chain. And also think about like auditing your dependencies, keeping your dependencies up to date. And uh, I mean, Sixstor has been working with a few different package managers to try to implement some of this uh, Sixstor security practices as part of that work. And we're, we're really excited about those partnerships that I think there's lots of opportunities for working to make the supply chain more secure in a in a pretty frictionless way. How seriously do you think organizations are taking it? I mean, the point of this question is to kind of, we talked about developers, but developers can do only so much if the organization itself does not have a security policy or culture in there. So what is your advice for organizations so that they can improve their security posture? Sure, I think that uh, security needs to be structured in as part of organizations, uh, their software development practice. I think that if if organizations are using things like CI/CD tooling, there are ways that they could implement security as part of that. Uh, there's uh, Tecton, which is a CI/CD tool that enables Tecton chains that lets you take snapshots of your your, after your workflow goes through. And there's also um, GitHub Actions, which enables you to connect with co-sign directly that will help you sign while you're doing your CI CD. I think uh, it's important for an organization to think about security in a in a structured way and not not allow like not kind of leave it up to individual developers to make those choices. It needs to be a a full uh, team wide organization wide approach. Right. And courses like these, you know, they do help, you know, uh, uh, with, with whatever efforts organizations can because security itself is challenging and, you know, you have to lower the barrier of entry as well. So what role uh, will this course play in both sides? You know, we talked about developers and we talked about organizational structure to kind of help them move forward. Yeah, my hope is that the course will, will drive accessibility and uh, invite more people to understand what's at stake in software security and also uh, learn how they could take these these incremental approaches to making making a more secure supply chain overall. And I think what's so great about this six door project and what encouraged me to get involved as well is that it's really trying to make things uh, easy and I would say even fun like it's it's such a delight uh, when you could check your, uh, your metadata and your signature in the record log and seeing that it's there and being able to share that with others. And that's, I think that Sigstor is a great way to start to think about software security in a, in a broader way. Lisa, thank you so much for taking time out today and not only talk about this course, but also share some, you know, kind of insights and also 
advice to organizations and developers, first of all, why they should look at security seriously. It's nobody else, no, it's not someone else's problem. And also how organizations can, you know, improve their security posture and how courses like these will help them. And of course, uh, there'll be more courses like these, more collaborations. So I would love to have you back on the show whenever there is new updates. But thank you for your time today. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, anybody who would like to get in touch, uh, please join the Sigstore Slack channel and I'm happy to chat there.